Hey, what's up everyone? Good evening. Uh, so tonight what I'm going to be talking about is why kids with ADHD generally have uh, a decreased balance and coordination. Um, so if you know of anyone that has ADHD or you yourself has a, have a child that has ADHD, they may have um, just lower coordination or kind of seem clumsy at times and kind of uh, that type of thing. It almost seems like they have issues with balancing. So why is that? Usually when I'm thinking about uh, ADHD and especially my ADHD patients, they generally have lower muscle tone. So what I mean by that is if you were to find a child that has ADHD and you have them put their legs together so you kind of lower their, or you know, narrow their uh, center of gravity and then you have them close their eyes, a lot of the times after they close their eyes, they're really gonna start swaying around and they're not gonna be able to keep their balance. And the reason for that a lot of the times is that they have low muscle tone. So what I mean by that is the muscle spindles, so like the very individual muscles, muscle spindles inside their muscles, they don't have a lot of load on them. So when you think of a muscle spindle, I always picture like a jump rope, and if you were to pull that, or, or you know any kind of rope, and if you were to pull that rope apart, you're putting more tension on it. And that's what you want. A healthy muscle has quite a bit of tension on that muscle spindle, but when you have lower muscle tone, it kind of gets floppier and there's not as much load on that muscle spindle. So it takes your muscle a long time to send to the brain that you are swaying. So if you have a lot of load on that muscle spindle, once you start barely swaying, your muscle spindles are communicating with your brain and being like, hey, correct this, that's not right. Whereas if you start swaying, that muscle is not communicating with the brain as fast and saying, hey, we need to correct this, we need to correct this, and then you start overcorrecting the other way in the other way, and that's because of that low load on the muscle spindle. So it takes a long time for your muscle to realize that it needs to correct, and that's just generally because you have low muscle tone. And if, you, if that's the case and your muscle spindles are less sensitive, uh, if your muscle spindles are less sensitive, everything else is gonna be less sensitive because really everything's driven by uh, essentially your muscle tone and how much uh, your motor system's working properly. So. If you think about your muscle spindles, they're sending a lot of proprioception to the brain, and if they are not at the tone or the level that they should be, they're not gonna be sending that correct information to the brain. So um, if they have lower sensitivity to their muscle spindles, they can also have lower sensitivity um, to things like vibration or tactile stimulation. So then you start thinking about um, like sensory processing or even like vision. Uh, maybe they don't feel pain because they just literally everything about them they don't feel as much sensitivity so if they fall and and then they don't cry but all your other kids cry I mean these are all the different things that kind of tie together maybe they're delayed in crawling uh, so lower sensitivity and muscle spindles um, they're not gonna have the proper information or proprioception reaching the brain so therefore uh, it's gonna be hard to get rid of something called infant reflexes which essentially at least in my experience, all the kids that I've seen in my office that have ADHD, they've had infant or primitive reflexes that haven't gone away. And one of the big reasons for that is because they have low muscle tone. So their brain is not getting the proper feedback from these muscles, so they're having a hard time getting rid of these infant reflexes. Um, another thing that can be why kids with ADHD uh, tend to have lower uh, coordination is because Generally, the right brain is more in charge of gross motor movement. So when I mean that, I mean like your big muscle group. So if you were to uh, play sports or you know, you're running around or skipping, um, jumping, those are all gonna be your gross motor muscles that are working. So that's more in charge of by your right brain. Both sides of the brain control it, but more dominantly on the right side. And usually kids with ADHD, they have a decrease, they have a weaker right brain. They're a really strong left brain and weaker right brain. So what that means is the side of the brain that's controlling that gross motor movement and balance and coordination is generally weaker. And one of the things I always have parents look for if they want to look for something on their child or if they know of someone that has ADHD is if you were to look at their face, usually the right side of their face, not all the time, but some, most of the time I would say, the right side of their face is gonna be weaker. And so the two things that you can look for is if the right eyeball looks bigger than the left. And why that is, is because your right side of your muscles are weaker, so it kind of pulls down and it starts to show more of that eyeball, as well as the right corner of their mouth will be just a little bit lower. It'll just droop a little bit more, nothing major. You would never probably notice it unless I pointed it out, but it's just two things that if you go up and actually look, it, you might see a right lower, 
uh, corner of the lip and you might see a bigger right more white showing in their right eyeball um, and that's very common as well in kids that have a weaker right brain and that's very common with ADHD so those are two things that uh, you can look for in your kid uh, if they have ADHD and obviously these are things that we work with in the office we work with increasing the motor system and getting rid of those primitive reflexes but we have a workshop uh, on Tuesday February 26th coming up here at the end of the month at 7 p.m. at the mark and this is the type of stuff that we're going to be talking about so if this is the type of information you're looking for if you're looking for more of how the brain develops from the bottom up talking about infant reflexes and building the motor uh, motor system and sensory processing system and kind of approaching this from the bottom up and really getting to the root cause of what's going on that's a, that's really what we're going over at the workshop and it's going to be covering a broad base of neurodevelopmental disorders um, so things like ADHD and dyslexia and even like the spectrum, uh, OCD, Tourette's, just learning disorders in general. That's the type of thing that we're going to be talking about. So I'm really excited about that. If you would like to sign up, I really encourage it or share this information with a parent uh, that would find this useful. So that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you sign up for the workshop or if you don't, pass this information along to someone that could use it. And I will see you guys tomorrow evening for another Facebook Live.